Hi, I'm Miss Hearn. Let's get started. In this video, we're going to talk about the weighted mean. So we've already talked about the mean, which we know is just another word for taking the average of a set of data. The mean of a sample is denoted X bar and the mean of a population is denoted mu. And we've already talked about how to calculate the mean. The mean of a set of data items is the sum of the items divided by the number of items. So what is this thing called a weighted mean? Well, a weighted mean just refers to the mean of a frequency distribution. Or another way of saying that is when the data is given to us in a frequency distribution, instead of being listed out data item by data item, how do we find the mean? How do we find the average? So one way would certainly be to just list out all the data. For example, here we have uh, 11 twos, um, we have seven fours, and we have two sixes, and we could just add all those up and ask ourselves what do we get but it takes a little while to add up all those numbers and remember this is a relatively small list of data usually we'll be dealing with larger lists of data but let's think about this wouldn't adding up 11 twos just be the same as multiplying 2 times 11 and instead of adding up 7 fours we could multiply 4 times 7 and instead of adding up two sixes, we can multiply six times two. So 22 plus 28 plus 12 is gonna give us 62 for the total of our data values. And then all we have to do is to divide by the number of data values. But let's take a closer look before we do that. Do you notice something about the numbers that we multiplied together? That's right, we multiplied each data value times its frequency. So in fact, what we could have done is create a third column, x times f, the data value times the frequency. The first entry would be two times 11 is 22, second is four times seven is 28, and the third is six times two is 12. Then we could just add up those products and we would get the same result. So this is gonna be a shortcut we can use to find the weighted mean or the mean of data value when they're given to us in a frequency distribution. Let's go ahead and finish finding the mean of these data values. So far what we've done is find the sum of all the data values. Now we need to divide that by the number of data values. They didn't tell us the number of data values, but we can always just add up the frequencies to find the number of data values. 11 plus 7 plus 2 is 20. So to find the mean, we're going to take the sum of all the data values, which is the sum of the x times f products, and divide divide it by the number of data values, which is the sum of the frequencies. So that's going to be 62 divided by 20, which is 3.1. And that's a reasonable answer, by the way, 3.1, because we had a lot more twos and fours than we did sixes. So it makes sense that our mean would have been somewhere between two and four. So the weighted mean of m numbers, x1, x2, through xm, that are weighted by respective factors, in other words, frequencies, F1, F2 through Fm is given by the formula x bar, the mean of the sample, equals the sum of the xfs over the sum of the frequencies. This formula is telling us to multiply the data column by the frequency column, add these products, and divide by n. Remember in statistics, formulas are telling us procedures. They're not quite the same as the type of formulas that we saw in algebra. Also remember the reason why we're dividing by the sum of the frequencies is because the sum of the frequencies is just the number of data values n, and that's always true. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. That will help other students to find the video.